In today's video, I'm going to show you how to pull the rotor off one of these big twin Harley Davisons. They made some changes, and between aftermarket and OEM, there's some different tools you have to have options to to be able to pull this off without hurting what's underneath. I'm going to discuss that in the video in more detail. But uh, click on the links below to uh, locate where to purchase these tools after you figure out which one you need, or head over to toolsyringe.com and also see all the other product review and how to use tool videos that we've made there. Thanks for your support, and let's get to it. On certain OEM and aftermarket rotors, we have threaded holes. That allows us to use a traditional style puller like this, where we thread this in, make sure and put some grease, make sure and grease the tool tip. And I like to do the threads of the tool where it's going to do the work. Here we want to get these good and even and then we would push against the crankshaft and you can see here this one's been on and off so it's it's going easy but sometimes these can really be stuck from the spline contact starting to wear out so then we would pull it that way. Now that's a great alternative this is a high quality tool one thing that's really nice about it is it pulls the rotor off really nice and even because when all of this is set up correctly it's just going to draw it off there nice and even. The danger side of that you'll see in a second is that you have to be really careful not to thread this in too far and I would take and measure how deep this hole is with the back end of a veneer caliper to make sure that you're not going to hit the stator that's behind there. If you hit the wire that's behind there you actually ruin your charging system component. So that's one method. My preferred method, when possible, when this isn't seized on here, is this simple tool right here. This is just spring loaded with a couple of fingers. We aren't worried about hurting those threads. And we'll just go in here, grab onto that. Make sure you support the, the rotor underneath here. And then what I'll do is I'll try to just kind of walk that back and forth. And in this case, like I said, this one's coming off pretty easy. I go ahead and pull it off. And pull it off super fast and easy, set it off to the side, and I'm going to be able to keep going about my work. So this is, this is one of my favorite tools when there's no issue of spline damage or it's not seized together. So you have to determine uh, what's going to be best for you on your current crankshaft and spline condition. But earlier I was talking about the other tool and how it was a little bit dangerous as you were threading those bolts in. This is what I'm talking about. If you go in there and you kiss that stator winding, you're going to ruin it and you're going to have a bad day. So, Alright, there's a couple of methods of how to pull that rotor off and not cause any damage. Use the tool properly. Like I said, click on the links below in the description for how to purchase these tools yourself for your own shop. Make it a great day. Keep wrenching. Stay tuned to toolstowrench.com. And if you're looking for uh, uh, help needing to learn some skill sets, you can head over to howtowrench.com and uh, we can get you fixed up. Make it a great day.